Hey, good morning, friends. It's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. Sunday morning. That means it's time for the Silky Smooth Sunday Shave. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. I've got, I don't know, three, four days of growth. So we got to get it chopped off so I can go to church and look beautiful. Before we get too far into it, as always, we've got coffee. Brought to you by the Silver Mug. Today we're doing the uh, Costa Rican pour over or the choradora or chorador with the colador. All right, let's get shaving. <clears throat> Pretty bog standard shave for me these days. Colonel Kong PAA Bay Rum Combo. Vanderhagen uh, Deluxe Boar Brush. Today we'll be using the Dovo Chevette, Chevette with the green insert. It's got a Persona hair shaper blade, second use. And for the post, Aquavello 5 and 1. All right, let's get going. <laughs> you guys saw me a lot this weekend if you've been watching my channel. You get notifications when uh, stuff comes up. Yeah, I'm in a social media mm, darling guru this weekend. I don't know, had some downtime. Figured I'd catch up for being absent last week. Anyway. <laughs> Gonna be a good shave, gonna be a good Sunday. Heading off to church. After church, we're doing a little fellowship time, a little, little dinner on the property, or lunch on the property. Gonna be some delicious homemade lasagna and all the accoutrement made by the lovely ladies of the church they said they didn't need any help so I got out of cooking which is fine I did plenty of cooking yesterday getting all my meal preps ready even made a little cheat meal action some air fried chicken wings and french fries delicious so yeah it's a uh, just after seven AM, got the coffee brewed, showered, shaved, or shaving, and I've got to go pick up a, <clears throat> a buddy of mine for church. He texted me yesterday, so I'm trying to get stuff done quick this morning. Probably should have chose a DE rather than a Chevette, but that's okay. All right, beautiful, quick lather. Put it back where it goes. It fell off. All right. What else, man? I've been on YouTube so much in the past 24 hours. I got nothing to talk about. You guys know what's going on with me now. Turkish uh, coffee or Greek coffee. Fat man walk. Didn't gain any weight over the past month, surprisingly. Starting the month at 2.42. And 242 will probably not last. After the lasagna and accoutrement today at church. That's okay. You know, I was thinking last night after I made the uh, Turkish or the Greek coffee video and I remembered the first time I had had the idea of uh, planted I should say of making or trying 
Turkish coffee. And that was thanks to one Mr. Trevi B. Brother, if you see this, I hope you're doing well. I know you haven't posted any content in a while. But I also blame you <coughs> for the for the bricka or the e-brick. Anyway, um, we were chatting via email not too terribly long ago and uh, he had mentioned that he was kind of a coffee guy as well and he had mentioned that he really enjoyed espressos and strong coffees and he used to Brew some stuff at home, but then he had some problems with a grinder. And he had mentioned that he even used to enjoy <coughs> Turkish coffees. And it was something that I'd never tried, never really thought about until then. He planted that seed. I'd kind of forgotten about it until yesterday at the, uh, at the shawarma shop. So while it was truly an impulse buy, I'm blaming Trevi. <laughs> well, if you guys can hear the news, we're gonna have some nice weather today. Oh, I think it just came in at a bad angle. It's gonna be hot and wet again, 90. Degrees. Eighty percent humidity. We're coming into hurricane season, I think. So it's going to be hot and wet a lot. All right, first pass, fantastic. You know, that hair shaper blade, it's got a love-hate relationship with that thing. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. <laughs> like in the Annie, and it may be just the design of the Annie hair shaper, it's very rough to me. A lot of lather on the shoulder. In the Dovo, or yeah, in the Dovo, it's a little more, a little more mild. It probably has to do with the blade exposure. I'd be willing to guess. So in addition to eating and coffeeing and videoing and cleaning and cooking, gosh, my Saturdays are boring. Being an adult is dumb. Not really. That's kind of one of those annoying millennial things. You know, things that like millennials say, yeah, adulting is hard. It's not. It's just not what you, it's not. Not what you want to do. There are a million other things you'd rather be doing than cooking and cleaning and paying bills. It's not that it's hard. It's just not fun. But anyway, <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, in addition to all that stuff that I had to do yesterday, got to watch some shaving videos. Got a little caught up from stuff that was posted over the <clears throat> over the course of the week. Anything that came out on the weekend, I probably am not caught up on. But you know, we saw saw Jill's trip. 
triple X shave. She <laughs> looked like she was having a deadly hand to hand combat with some palm trees. Face got kind of scratched up. Hope you're healing up, my friend. And then, uh, Mati Lindholm is on the hunt for the perfect shave, if such a thing exists. He did a really great video talking about different shaving stuff and different techniques and different this and different that and how if you're a new guy watching YouTube videos to learn how to do this hobby, it can be easy to fall into the trap of the guy who says this is the way you do it and this is the right way to do it or gal for that matter I guess but this is the right way this is the right product this is how you should do it this is what you have to do and sometimes that's not right for you so it was a really good video I suggest you go watch it um, made a lot of sense it made me kind of think back to when I first started you know I'd watch these guys who look like they knew what they were doing kind of like some folks do with me now and I appreciate the vote of confidence to anybody who does watch these and thinks I know what I'm doing but you know they would talk about a product or a piece of hardware or a soap or a technique and it would just oh they're getting it would plant in your head or at least in my head well, if that works, if that's, how they're, if that's how they're doing it and they're getting good shaves, then that's how I should be doing it or what I should be using. And I can get good shaves too. Which, in some respects, can be true. Because good products can make a difference. But more than anything, it's technique and understanding what works for your face and your skin and your hair and finding the products and the techniques that work for you. Because no two faces are the same. So yeah, so anyway, and I, uh, like I said, it reminded me that I ended up with a lot of stuff in my shave cabinet <clears throat> that was supposed to give me the best shave ever because so-and-so said so, and it turned out not to be for me. That's not counting anything that I had an allergic reaction to because those you can't really tell. You know, you can't you can't predict if that's gonna happen or not. Fantastic! Three beautiful passes. Ditch of the neck is kind of rough, but uh, I'll clean that up. I don't see any blood. I felt like I may have caught myself at a bad angle a couple of times. I had kind of a rough shave the other day with the Merker open comb, what is that, the 1904 or whatever it's called. That thing always gives me a rough shave. I figured I'd pop it out and use it and uh, paid the price. <laughs> but I don't see any blood, I don't smell any blood. A couple of little stingy spots with the alum but nothing too crazy so we'll move on to the head shave okay, that wasn't bad a sub 15 minute straight razor shave or shave it shave I'm getting faster I may never hit that five minute shave I don't know if I'd ever try but <clears throat> I 
if I can get these videos done in 25 minutes or so, let you find people get on with the rest of your day. I'd be happy. Cause I know you guys don't want to sit and listen to me jibber jabber for 30 minutes about nothing. It's kind of like that show Seinfeld, right? What's your show about? Nothing. Gonna be a hit. Sorry, I had to. I felt like I stunk, and I'm like, I just got out of the shower. I know I put deodorant on. Maybe it's the brush. It is very cheap for hair. It's also very old, so it shouldn't have stink. Maybe I just stink. I don't know. Anyway, head shave time. Head blade. You know who got a head blade recently and had a head blade shave? Kurt over at Solid Shaves. Uh, <laughs> and he looks good with his head shaved, but apparently he doesn't think so. His family doesn't think so, so he's growing his hair back. If you're not watching Kurt's videos, Kurt's videos, go watch Kurt's videos. Nice guy. He's still a little... Seems like nervous in front of the camera, or it could be just because he's speaking in English and that's not his native tongue. <clears throat> so he gets a little tripped up. But, good guy, good shaves. I'm gonna roast him a little bit. <laughs> he, did a, he, he did a movie review uh, while shaving the other day. It was tough to follow exactly what the movie was about. But it worked because it made me want to watch it. Now I just got to go find it and watch it on Netflix. Maybe I'll do that this afternoon or tomorrow when I'm off on my day off while I'm finishing up my meal prep. But it sounded pretty interesting. It was, I don't know, a Korean movie set in the future, in a kind of a dystopian type sounding future. So. I'll, uh, I forgot the name of it. It starts with a P, I think. Pro not Prodigy. Maybe Prodigy or something like that. I'll have to go re-watch his video, find the title. I'm going to watch it. It sounded interesting. But, uh, yeah, his video, <laughs> his movie review was... It was so <laughs> oh, goodness. Like I said, I'm not trying to be mean. It was funny. He did, he, he, he just, it seemed very uh, scattered and organic. Like, he hadn't planned on talking about the movie, but then he started talking about the movie. And you know how sometimes when you're hanging out with your friends, and you're trying to tell a story about something that happened or something you saw, and it's just a little bit mm, unorganized? That's what, the, that's what his movie review was like. But like I said, it... He has good videos. He's got a great collection of uh, vintage razors, too. Seems like he's always shaving with something very cool and very old. But, uh, yeah. Also saw Gino, uh, did a little, uh, Gino Sonier did a little, uh, appreciation video. For some of the wet tubers out there who have inspired him and helped him along the way. And I was honored enough to be on that list. So Gino, thank you very much for um, the shout out and the appreciation. It means a lot. Like I said, I started doing these videos, I don't know, a couple, two or three years ago. Just because I saw guys doing it and it looked like fun and it was a good way to, to watch myself shave to see if I could learn anything. And interact with some folks who knew a thing or two about a thing or two. And uh, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of grown. I got, feel like I've got some decent internet friendships out of it. And a little bit of a following. And sometimes I get people post, hey man, thanks for the video. You know, it really helped me to do X, Y, or Z. And uh, it's good, man. It makes me feel good on the inside that even though I'm just a... <laughs> A silly fat man standing in front of a mirror, flapping his yap and shaving his face and head, that it's helping some folks. Hopefully it's not helping them spend too much of their money. 
because that's what a lot of these videos were for me when I first started. Like I said, hunting for that perfect shave, that perfect piece of a gear or the latest and greatest thing. One thing that I really had to come to grips with was not buying stuff specifically to review it or use it on the channel. One, because I don't do really, <coughs> I don't do reviews with the exception of the, uh, I don't know, I may have done actually one or two like real reviews, but I don't do reviews per se. I just use something to tell you if I like it or not. But for a little while, when I first started, because everybody, that's what you did to get views was you bought the latest and greatest and you put up a video talking about it. And I came to realize, one, that's really expensive unless you're, you know, being sponsored or making money so that you can subsidize those purchases. Or, or I should say, and the fact that when something new came out, there were guys who were getting it pre-release, so they had the, the upper hand, upper hand, they had the opportunity to be first with the review, which is fine, or it's just the, doing the same thing, saying the same things. Coming to the same conclusion. Let me get rinsed off here. Yeah, I'm gonna hit a little touch up there. Feels like it needs it. But yeah, just coming to the same conclusions and you know, you get 10 guys. I think somebody was talking about it the other day or not too long ago, I should say. You know, you get 10, 15 guys reviewing the same thing or talking about the same thing within a week or two of each other and yeah, it is what it is you know what it is it's a silky smooth shave fantastic i'm gonna get some coffee beautiful shave nice and smooth no kit no cuts no nicks no scrapes <clears throat> no irritation to speak of i finish it off with the aqua velva and I'm going to let you find folks get on with the rest of your day. As always, thank you guys and gals so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I uh, appreciate your support, views, likes, comments, shares, all that nonsense. It does mean a lot that you guys are taking some time to watch this bald fat guy do a lot of this. And a little bit of this. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Hope the upcoming week treats you well. No matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family. It's really important. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you next time. Have a great day and God bless.